Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Bullock here again, and this uh, Algebra 2 lesson is solving quadratics by square roots. Uh, hopefully it's an easy lesson. Let's go ahead and get started. So solve the equation 2x squared equals 18 divided by 2, and you get x squared equals 9. Okay, think of a number that if you square it equals 9, 3 squared, but also negative 3 squared. So x is going to equal plus or minus 3, which is the square root of 9. Okay, so if it's not a perfect square, then we got to do our simplifying radicals uh, trick on that. And I think I have an, uh, one on that. Okay, here, y squared minus 18 equals 18. Add 18 to both sides, you get y squared equals 36. So y is plus or minus 6. Easy, huh? Now remember, I'm going fast, but you guys can pause this wherever you need to to uh, write things down. Okay, here I'm going to add 12 to both sides, and I get 17. And so x is going to equal plus or minus the square root of 17. All right, because 17 is a prime number, so that's as far as you can go. And I'd like you to leave it like that, you guys, okay? Uh, uh, some books might put 4.1. I wouldn't want to do that. I like uh, simplified radical answers. Those are the most exact answers right there. Okay, here you're going to subtract 11 from both sides. All right, and you get uh, m squared equals negative 7. Now, think, can you think of a number if you square equals negative 7? There is no number right now, you guys. Later on, we're going to be dealing with imaginary numbers, but we don't know that yet. So here, I'm going to have to say no solution, because I can't square a number to equal a negative right there. All right. Uh, it looks like I spelled solution wrong. Put a little one too many I's in there. I'll fix that later. All right. So here, uh, I'm going to divide both sides by 25, and I get x squared equals uh, uh, 36 over 25. And then square root both sides, it's going to be plus or minus that, you guys. So plus or minus the square root of 36 which is 6 over the square root of 25, so you get plus or minus 6 fifths. Okay, uh, all right, here I'm going to go ahead and add 11 to both sides, and I get uh, 24, divide by 3, and I get 8, and then x equals plus or minus the square root of 8. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, so it's plus or minus 2 root 2. Simplified radical answers are best, you guys. Okay, here I'm going to divide both sides by 3 first, and then x minus 7 squared equals 12. And then now I can square root both sides, and you get plus or minus the square root of 12. Just think of it as x squared equals 12. Okay, but it's just x minus 7 squared equals 12. So we square root. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. So I get uh, 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 x minus 7 equals plus or minus 2 root 3. And then add 7 to both sides, you get x equals 7 plus or minus 2 root 3. Okay, what else do I have? Okay, your, but your textbooks will probably write, at least mine does, 7 plus 2 root 3, 7 minus 2 root 3. I like it like this better, but whatever. Okay, uh, all right, so let's see. So here on this guy, I'm going to go ahead and add 18 first to both sides, and then uh, so I get 28, and then he, from here to here, I divide both sides by 7 to get rid of that 7. And then from here to here, then I square root of both sides. The square root of 4 is 2. Don't forget your plus or minus. All right, so then you're going to have uh, add 4 to both sides, so it's going to be 4 plus 2 or 4 minus 2, because it's 4 plus or minus 2, so you get 6 or 2. All right, uh, okay, simplify the expression. Okay, so you're going to see some like this. You can't, in Algebra 2, you can't have radicals on the bottom. In Algebra 1, you can't either, you guys. So I'm going to multiply it by 1. My 1 is going to be root 7 over root 7, because when I do root 7 times root 7 on the bottom, I get plain old 7. So you get 5 root 7 over 7. That's your answer. Okay, you guys can do that. You've done that before in Algebra 1. Okay, when you see something like this, let me show you the real common error, you guys. Don't do this, okay? Don't write this down. This is an incorrect way. People want to multiply it by root 11 to over root 11. You can do that. It's just not going to get you your answer, you guys. Okay, when you do that, watch what happens, you guys. I get 2 root 11 on top, and then I distribute the root 11 through. I get 4 root 11 over 11. I still have a radical in the bottom. I just moved it. So that's not going to do anything, you guys. So here's the correct way. You multiply by what's called the conjugate of the bottom. Okay, if this has a, if it's a binomial, this is two terms, 4 plus root 11. 4 is one, and root 11 is another. It's two terms. So I multiply by the conjugate, which is the same binomial, but if one has a plus, the other one has the minus. Okay, so if that had the plus, then this is going to be a minus. Notice this is just 1. 4 minus root 11 over 4 minus root 11 is just 1. So I'm multiplying it by 1, and what happens is, when I multiply conjugates with each other, x plus y times x minus y, it becomes x squared minus y squared. Remember that? So here it's going to become, here's my x plus y, x minus y, so here's my x squared minus y squared. All right, and then go ahead and distribute this 2 through on top, 
and I get 8 minus 2 root 11. Okay, and 4 squared is 16. Root 11 squared is plain old 11. Check it out, no more radicals, and it subtracts 16 minus 11, and you get 5. So it's 8 minus 2 root 11 over 5. All right, let's try one more of those. I'm not comfortable with you with just one of them. All right, so here, okay, I got a binomial on the bottom with a radical, so I think conjugates. And you're going to use this trick all the way through calculus, you guys, the conjugate trick. So the conjugate of this one's going to be 3 minus root 2 over 3 minus root 2. Okay, so go ahead and distribute. Root 5 times 3 is 3 root 5. Root 5 times root 2 is root 10. Okay, I can multiply them if they're both inside, and it's a minus in between them. On the bottom, it's going to be 3 squared minus root 2 squared. All right, so there we go, and uh, it wraps up to, and, and I get end up getting 9 minus 10, which is negative 1, and then 2, never leave the negative on the bottom, you guys. So absorb that negative in the top. It's going to make this guy negative and make this guy positive, so it just flips them around, and there's your answer right there. Okay, again, if you're in my Algebra 2 class, I would assign that to you guys, and take care.